it is important that you know what to do to help your child get the good night's sleep. Does your child have ASD or autism and he has trouble sleeping? Your child might have trouble falling asleep or staying asleep. Sleep can be difficult for most kids, but even more so for kids with autism. Therefore, sleep is important. For kids with ASD, this is because when they get the good amount of sleep, they can learn better, become less irritable, and have less behavioral problems. In this video, we will talk about sleep and autism, the consequences of lack of sleep, um, when do you consider a child to have a sleep disorder, and more importantly, what tips you can do to help your child sleep better. Hey, I'm Dr. Christine Albaquet. I'm a board-certified pediatrician, and my mission is to help moms and dads deal with child health problems to raise happy and healthy kids. Sleep and Autism Autism and sleep problems. In a study done in 2019, it has been found that 80% of preschoolers with autism are found to have disrupted sleep. And um, sleep problems are twice as common in kids with autism. What are some of the reasons? One reason might be insomnia, where it takes a child with ASD to uh, 11 more minutes to fall asleep and these kids wake up several times during the night. Another reason might be sleep apnea, a condition wherein um, a child stops breathing several times at night. And another reason might be kids or people with autism might have a less restorative sleep. What are the consequences of lack of sleep? There is mounting evidence to show that lack of sleep may make the symptoms of uh, autism worse, such as poor social skills. Lack of sleep would make, uh, would worsen repetitive behaviors, making, make a tough time making friends, um, score less on intelligence, also make a child more hyperactive or easily distracted. Does your child have a sleep disorder? Well, every child's sleep requirements is different, but in general, the amount of sleep every child needs would depend on his or her age. Typically, a 1-3 to three year old kid would need 12 to 14 hours of sleep, including naps, and a 3-6 to six year old kiddo would need 10 to 12 hours of sleep, while a kid aged 7 to 12 years needs 10 to 11 hours of sleep. If your child has difficulty falling asleep at night or wakes up several times at night, then it might be a sign of a sleep problem. When this happens, you need to bring your child to your pediatrician uh, to have it checked. Now, what are the ways to help your child fall asleep? First, limit household noise. Try to limit household noise like the television or music or the dishwasher can be overstimulating for a child on the spectrum and make it difficult for them to feel tired and fall asleep. And number two, uh, limit electronics. It is best that one to two hours before your child's bedtime to eliminate uh, electronics such as the television or computers. This can be overstimulating for your child. Another tip, reduce light exposure in the bedroom. Uh, keeping the room dark would limit uh, visual stimulation and also this encourages the production of melatonin, which is a hormone that promotes sleep. In the bedroom, also try to keep it cool. This is because a cool uh, bedroom environment promotes good sleep. Aim for a temperature of 65 to 67 Fahrenheit in the bedroom. Next tip, check the fabrics on your child's pajamas and beddings. For many kids with ASD, they can be overly sensitive to the fabrics, which for some can be irritating. So make sure that what your child is wearing or what your child is using does not cause discomfort and at best should be soothing for your child. Do you want more tips for good sleep? 
But before we go to that, are you expecting a baby? Or you already have a newborn and you're kind of having trouble? How much better life can be when things are under your control upon baby's arrival? When you know what to do about breastfeeding, when you know how to soothe a crying fussy baby, when you know when to worry and call the doctor, when you know how to deal with postpartum depression. Well, you can get the training in the comfort of your own home. I have developed an online training video series known as the 5 Newborn Care Strategies. Do check that out in the description section. Next tip, establish a bedtime routine with your child. Work with your child to establish a soothing bedtime routine and stick to it every night. It can be, keep, just keep it simple. You can start with taking a bath and then putting on pajamas, brushing the teeth, uh, reading a bedtime story, and then going to sleep. Also, you can create a bedtime story on the importance of sleep. Next tip, use the relaxation technique. For some kids, it might be anxiety that is causing the problem. So try relaxation techniques like deep breathing or taking a warm bath or listening to soft music. Another tip, check your child's diet. It might be food discomfort or food sensitivity that might be causing the problem. So it is worthwhile to check with a dietitian and also try limit uh, sugary foods and carbonated drinks, especially before bedtime. Next tip, exercise. Daytime exercise can make your child fall asleep better. And studies have shown that exercise uh, makes children have deeper sleep. Next tip, teach your child to sleep alone. While uh, some kids uh, tend to expect that when they wake up, they need their parents by their side to help them fall asleep. Well, this might be a precious time for you and your child. Uh, it, it reinforces the fact that uh, you need to be by their side when they fall asleep. And that is not good for either of you. So it is important that you teach your child to sleep alone. Next tip, consider melatonin therapy. Um, studies have shown that children with ASD who were given oral melatonin have been shown to have improved sleep. So check with your pediatrician if it is advisable for your child to get melatonin. Then what if you have tried everything but nothing seems to work? Then talk to your pediatrician. Your kid might need a sleep study in order to pinpoint what is the problem that is causing your child to have disturbed sleep. Remember, better sleep will not cure autism, but children with ASD who get a good amount of sleep tend to learn better, become less irritable, and have less behavioral problems. Hey, if you like this video, watch my next video where I teach you about other child health problems.